Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Macacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Amari Lekak Akhmedov. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jorge Dane Red. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, single collar tie now. And now Masvidal's got the tie clinch now. One. Great takedown defense by Masvidal. Oh, looked like that one counted. Nice head kick. Missed with that right hand. Good stick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, that is a killer jab there from Jorge Ingrid Masvidal. Big picture, might be the best boxer on this roster. I mean, he may just be the best boxer on this roster. In Miami, 
Florida. Cuban heritage, a guy that personifies Miami and is putting on a Miami type performance tonight. Flashy and beautiful. Great job by Jorge. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Nice strike. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Liver and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job. Oh, no. And potentially a critical takedown here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ahmed. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jorge Game Red Masvidal. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ahmed. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Akhmedov. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's attacking armbar now. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. And there it is. Tower. Oh my goodness. What a fight. Right. I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing. And ultimately, the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, and still the undisputed UFC
but still the baddest man on the planet. And now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion.